Hello there. Uh, welcome to another exciting episode of Fargo Retro. Uh, my name is Eric, and as you can see, we have a little bit different of a setup than we normally have. Um, but uh, yeah, well, I figured while we were all quarantined together, we could have a little quarant stream. And uh, I could go through one of my favorite games of all time. Uncharted Waters, New Horizons for the Super Nintendo. So you've seen the little intro scroll here, and so this is the character we're gonna play, Joao, uh, as the son of the Duke of as the son of Duke Leon Franco. Joao sails for the glory of Portugal. Uh, well, hopefully you read it there. Uh, but there's other characters you can play, and sometimes the other characters will show up in uh, your story, whoever you play. And um, yeah, so I'm just kind of let this go through, make sure everything is working. I do have a little bit of a delay on the stream, so uh, about 30 seconds or so. So if you are replying to me, um, talking at me, it will take me about 30 seconds to respond in the stream. Um, I'm just checking to see if everything is sounding okay coming up. Sailing RPG. So you spend most of your time getting ships, all that. I was just on my phone here. I'm just seeing it. Okay, so it's a little loud. I'll turn my volume up. And game volume down a little bit. That should, I think, equalize it. So. Cool. Okie dokie. Well, we've had the intro up for a bit. Let's go ahead and get started with the game. Master computer hacker. All right, so we're going to select start a new game here. You can only have one saved game at a time. And here are the six characters. Uh, we are going to be Joao Franco. Uh, age 18, the son of Portugal's Duke Leon, uh, an adventurer who travels around the world to find the secret of Atlantis. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Launch of this game. We are ready to start the game. Um, I'm not going to read the characters or anything like that. I think you can read it just fine. So that's Rocco, who's kind of like our personal steward, I guess, as a young, rich person. We have our personal steward. I'm going to head over to the cafe and see what's going on over there. over to the cafe to hang out with the tavern wenches, play them my loot, and have a good time, but looks like daddy's looking for me, so we'll head back to our house, which is this little noble estate here. Uh, Marco, our butler. Well, hello there. Hey, Marco. I suppose he has, hasn't he? So off we go. I always used to play Super Nintendo all Saturday long. I don't see why quarantine times we can't do the same here. I am playing this game on my computer. I'm using the uh, PlayStation controller that comes with the PlayStation Mini. It is a fantastic little controller for emulating and whatnot. So 
That is why I got that console. Small talk with dad there, that was nice. But when he was my age, he's already on the seas finding stuff, fighting pirates. But me, I'm soft. I have enough knowledge, now what I need is experience. I'm gonna have an adventure. So cool. Yeah, that sounds like me. That sounds like something my dad would make me do. to go find Atlantis. It's a difficult task. There may be hardships along the way, but it's urgent that you find it. Everyone's going to treat me like a commoner as well. I have a ship being built. I'll leave soon, so... Morocco's going to come along here. Say goodbye to the wenches. Somebody think about the wenches. Whole town's in an uproar. I am leaving on a sea voyage, lady. That lady goes. A few minutes later. Alright, so I think I, I'm assuming since it's in the first line, this feels very beginnery. Um, you know, all of the intro sections feel pretty beginnery. We'll go through the town real quick here. So there's a cafe you can stop in in most ports. Talk to this dog here. There's a lot of NPCs. We'll see what they all have to say. If you want to get detailed information about the port you're in, go to a lodge and ask. Okay, so I don't think that's a lodge. And so I use the balsa ship at the shipyard. So the shipyard's next to me here. This is where you can buy and trade ships and up upgrade them and stuff. Uh, this is sort of the port. This is where you'll like supply your ship with food and water and stuff like that. If you've just started sailing, you can gain experience and fame quickly by signing up for easy missions at a go. Let's do that. You're a trader, aren't you? Rock salt is the specialty. Good to know. That mansion is the Duke's residence. So, uh, This is the trade depot here. It says, well, you'll buy and sell uh, commodities. Uh, this is the research society. Um, and it's kind of complex. We'll get into that later. Uh, this is the inn, obviously, so we'll be staying there. That's where the mission is. Can I talk to this guy? What else we got up here? We got a shop. Uh, so this is where you can buy, like, equipment and items uh, at, like, the, the personal level. Uh, this is that guild hall. This is where we'll be able to get missions. Let's see if we can get one now. Buy goods, buy goods, deliver letter. So, I think Andy is nearby. Uh, 
Uh, we have no fame or anything like that. Um, so on the left here is our fame. So it's like our mission fame, our piracy fame and fighting fame, and then our uh, trade fame. We have 1,000 gold, but no ingots. Um, ingots are just a larger form of gold currency. And then on the right there is some information about the port city we're in. So we're in the port of Lisbon. Uh, I'm sure we can see that there, Lisbon. It's in the region of Iberia, and it is the capital of Portugal. Um, the year is 1522, it's May 17th. And the city of Lisbon has a 780, tra 780 trade rating and a 770 technology rating. And right now the market's at 100%. So you'll kind of see what all that means later. But we'll kind of just go on with the mission here. We'll stop at this lady. Mm -hmm. We'll check in like they said. We want to check out at 10 p.m. to say. I'll find Atlantis and be right back, Mom. Don't worry. you've all been practicing your social distancing. Um, you've been doing really well, I think. Um, probably only have to go out one or two more times until June, I suppose. So. Alright, so my Mama gave me a tiara to sell. She couldn't give me any money. Um, she gave me a tiara, so let's go. So I'll go back to bed here. We'll wait, wake up bright and early. So we'll stop by the item shop then, and we'll sell the tiara, get some cash. Um, so it is closed, or the job place is open, so we'll see if we can click it for a little bit. You know. The letter still hasn't made to the port of candy, I see. Only 28 more days left. No, that's not what I'm here for. We haven't left yet, bro. Chillax. Still closed. Okay. Well, definitely should have just woke up at 8. Let's come to the trader here for a second. See what this guy has to say. Should be at the store any goods. Oh, yeah. So let's go get the ship, I guess. And then the item store should be open. I'll be open now. So let's go sell the rapier. Or, oops. Spoiler. Uh, I have something for you. Oh, for me? Your butler Marco came by here and asked me to give you this rapier. It's already paid for, so please take it. Alright, so we will equip the rapier. That's not how you equip the rapier. Uh, rapier, it's 
a fencing sword, attack level C, a light, slender, two-edged sword used only for thrusting. Came into use after guns made armor. Absolute. Okay. So let's sell this tiara. Seems like a shame. 2500 will help. So let's go get a ship. So we'll head over to the shipyard. Oh, the delay's not so bad, so. Alright, ahoy there! Is our ship finished yet? Alright, so Papa got us a ship here. It's called the Hermes 2. We'll just go over here just for fun and see what happens. It's the Round Earth Society. So this guy wants us to talk to Professor Enrico. He's a philosopher at Lisbon University. Can you exchange knowledge with scholars in the East? And he wants us to take him to Zipango. Zipango. A beautiful island in the Far East. That Marco Polo wrote about. Oh dear. He just needs to get there someday. Okay. This works. I honestly don't really know how this subsystem of the game works. You're supposed to donate a money and then study, and then good things are supposed to happen, but it's very nebulous, so I don't usually interact with that system much. So um let's take on some supplies. gonna keep getting money from people from city to city saw there but we are going to trade rock salt in Lisbon and we're going to sell it for porcelain in Seville and sail to other ports after we make a little bit of money so yeah the egghead could be our bookkeeper good job nerdlinger you got a job <laughs> I'm gonna see I don't know if the lights are on I hate when the lights are on so I'm gonna turn that down alrighty so Check our log of goods. I should... So we're going to supply up our ship a little bit. And we're going to put on 10 more water, 10 more food, 20 pieces of pop. That's pretty expensive. And then we have 40 spaces left over on our ship. So. We'll kind of talk about that a little more. I just kind of want to get the game started a little bit, get some of these intro missions out of the way here. So we'll head over to the trader here. Um, how may I help you? So you can buy goods, you can invest in the city, and you don't usually invest in the capitals. So we're not going to do that. If you don't have a tax-free permit, you must pay 20% tax. Oof. All right, well, no, I don't want cheese. So let's do rock salt. And so we're going to argue with them, even at 45. Alright. Get them for 
42 pieces of comp. We can actually get all 40 spaces of our ship full. So our ship is now currently loaded with rock salt. Let's go ahead and sail it up. Candia. I'm not exactly sure where it is. I think it's, you know, in Iberia, but I have to do a little bit of exploring here. So we made it in at night, which is always unfortunate. So um, we're going to find, we're not going to actually sleep though, because we'll lose a whole day. I know that sounds weird because you'll like sleep until the next 8 a.m. if you stay uh, after midnight. So, so usually I just like to do this. Uh, just kind of pop in and out of places that'll let you pop in and out. And the next one should get us good. So, so we're now in Seville. Uh, so we can talk to some of the locals here. So let's do that. We only need, so we'll talk about crew and stuff in a minute. You're a trader, aren't you? Porcelain is the specialty around here. That's cool. Yeah, meow. So we got a fortune teller here. We have a round earth society. We have a bank. We have a mission place. We have a noble. We have an item shop. And we got a trader. Perfect. So that's what we're looking for. We're trying to sell our... Head trader, I get the feeling that you're a newcomer to the trade business. I can give you a point or two. Sure. Buy low, sell high, of course. should be able to buy some porcelain they're saying so you don't make much profit on the porcelain so if he starts at 111 I can talk him down to like 105 106 okay and then how many slots we have 54 full 39 so let's do all 39 supply ahoy there swabby maybe i'm wrong but you have the look of an unseasoned sailor i sure do tell me about it then so you can get a crew in a cafe you can get food and water from this guy and a captain at each ship Actually gonna supply quick and then we are going to sail even though he says we can't sail for long we're gonna sell all of this up here So we'll just sleep till the next day. Alrighty, so we are doing pretty okay. Making sure all my streamy strands are still going. That looks all okie dokie as well. We gotta click back into the game though. So, um, so we gotta sell all that porcelain quick. Mm, so we're making 
17 for porcelain on 39. So, but... We'll sell that rock salt. space to actually get some food and stuff. And then we will about that. <laughs> yeah, it says you gotta play Koei back in the day, my guy. Uh, Koei Tecmo, yeah, and I said Koei Tecmo at the start, and... Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so it's after midnight. Didn't know it was free to play. You know, shout out to uh, Games RPG page. Uh, big page. Uh, I like them. They play a lot of cool stuff. So. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, I'm not sure how it's looking. Um, I haven't looked at it in a bit. Yeah, it's a little blurry. Okay, so what were we doing? You gotta sell the stuff in this town here. You gotta get a PSN Japan account to get it free. Okay. No, for sure. I've I've heard about getting those regional accounts because it's a good way to get the exclusives for that region. Um, I don't know if you need like a VPN or whatever for that. I don't have one of those. You should get one. I don't really know what they do though. Um, I mean, I know what they do. I just don't. Well, good for me. Um. Alright, so we gotta trade this. So we're gonna sell our goods. Pretty good profit there, not bad. And then I'm actually gonna fill up my ship with food and water, and we're gonna see if we can't find Candia. And we're gonna take a look at some of the stuff here. So let's take a look at our fleet first, I guess. So. I always like this little. So that's our fleet. We got a single ship there. Uh, you know, and as we as we get into it though, we'll get more more uh, ships and stuff. Um, let's see, we can look into more detail on that. I'm not gonna look into more detail on that ship right now. Um, we're gonna take a look at the crew. So we have 20 of 30 guys. Um, we can assign them to do different things here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to assign half the crew to navigation, the other half to lookout. And yeah. So we're going to check that. Now we've assigned our crews. Let's do some rations. Um, so 80, 80. That just means we're going to feed the guys a little bit less while we're out sailing. And that's all we need to do there. Oh, it's making some beeps here. I noticed the more that you press the button, the more it beeps. Ah, neat. A little log. You can see the kind of stuff you did here. That's pretty cool. I guess I never messed around with that. 
Um, yeah, so there's, um, there is some combat. You do, um, there's two types of combat, right? So you do boat-to-boat -boat combat, and you'll also do, like, a duel. You can do, like, sailor-to-sailor -sailor combat. So, like, if my guy gets, uh, if, like, if I'm sailing and, like, a pirate, like, attacks our ship, the pirate captain can challenge my captain to, like, a duel, right? And so that's a pretty good way to resolve the game, too. So that's why, like, your character gets the rapier and stuff like you can equip items onto your dude so it's 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 not like a full rpg but it's got rpg elements um it's more like exploration and like the trade so <laughs> yeah no doubt no doubt um so what are we doing so we're gonna try and load up our stuff here um load up our stuff Why? It's gonna cost us a little bit of money, but we're gonna have full supplies on our ship. So full supplies, we can sail for 20 days. Okay. And we are gonna. <laughs> uh, on the port. So that's what we're gonna try and do. We're gonna look for the port of Candia. I think it's down here. I don't remember. I haven't played this in like a year or two. I'm pl I played it a little bit. I have a cartridge of it for Super Nintendo, but um, I like to play it on the computer a little better. So I don't think Candy is this way. It's terrible. We found a stowaway though. How many times do I have to ask you? Please call me Captain. This isn't a curious turn of event. Who would want to stow away on this ship? What are you doing, you big lout? This guy's not even telling me his name. How you gonna be on my ship? Not tell me your name. everybody a shot. Fine. Okay. Tomorrow is Spanish. Tomorrow is Spanish is manana. So we'll use that for now. Okay. All right, I know there's a city up here. Is this Candia? Santa Cruz. I don't know where Candia is. So we'll stop here. Let's see what's going on. We'll talk to some of these people in this town here. So this... So it's in the air region of West Africa, and it's a neutral port. So that's kind of the investment thing. Like, when you sell goods at that, that guy, you can also invest. Nothing special in the market. Lame. You can auto-sail to a port you've been to before. storm south of this port. So yeah, I don't really want to go any farther south than this. Um, I'm going here to see if this guy knows where Candy is at. Yeah, tell me about the guild, sure. That's a little bit of a track. Okay, I'm not gonna make very much money then. I was way off. Mm. Man, I'm gonna take a L on this one. So we're supply up our ship. It cost us $500 to figure out where the city was. Alright, 500 gold pieces or whatever. Okay, so 
gets paid some wages, sure. We got other people out here sailing too, they're sailing by. We can kind of actually check them out and see what they're up to. This is an Italian battle feet fleet. Turkish battle fleet. Nice, found another port. So let's see how much. In about 13 days that we can sail up. So we're probably gonna come up here. There's gonna be a city up on the tip of this place, uh, Tunis. Stop here, grab some supplies for the rest of the trip. So my navigation level and seamanship went up. Uh, my banker's level navigation and leadership and knowledge went up. So Mingo's navigation and seamanship and knowledge went up. So the longer you sail, the more some of those stats increase, which is kind of cool. So we're just going to get in and out quick. Um, supply up. Do this, finish this mission. We got 20 days worth of supplies. So let's try to not stop until we get to Candia or um, we run out of food. Found Syracuse. And that's. Uh, on Sicily, or, uh, yeah, Sicily. So you press start, you can see a map. Uh, all kinds of stuff there. Should, you should be able to zoom that map. So, um, the reason I'm playing this is there's actually a game on Steam called... Uh, Horizons Gate. That's very similar to this. It's kind of cool. Boom, Candia. Got you. Alright. Well, I'm gonna... <laughs> I know of another trade route, so let's, uh, let's hit that up. We're, we're in this area anyway, so... Um, I have to go to the... We'll talk to some of the people. The basic defensive tactics in Duel are parry against thrust, block against lash, and dodge against strike. So it's that sort of combat mini game. Um, I gotta find the guild first, so. Alrighty, so what else we got going on here? Um probably play this for another 20 minutes or so we'll see i don't really have anything going on today um so we got our guild mission taken care of we're all the way over here already though so let's do okay so we're gonna come over here and so i, I, I don't know if you guys noticed we only had 20 crew right and so oh yeah why don't you talk to me see guy So I want to take out 10 bunks for the crew and get rid of 10 bunks for the cannons. And then that added 20 cargo units to our ship, okay? And so we're gonna actually now engage in one of the more lucrative beginning trade routes, okay? I'm gonna exploit this for just a little bit here. So we still got plenty of food and whatever. So here we go. We'll come in here. We got Athens here, right? We're all the way in Greece. You know what you can get in Athens? You might not know 
way you can get in Athens, but you can get art. Let's take a look here, see what we got. Art is the local specialty. It is expensive, though. So have to negotiate it down, so I'll go to 320. Nope. I mean, like 350, though, right? 360. Okay. So he chunked off 10%, roughly. We buy 11 chunks of art. We got four, four bucks left. Four dollars. Here we go. Uh, we're about to make this money, money, money. Okay, so we're going to sail the art up this way. Now we're in Istanbul. Which should be Constantinople. It's so, so strange. Um... Please sell some art. Hello. May I please buy your carpets? So it's a little bit of a pro tip here. Buy carpets in Istanbul. Sell them for art, or sell them in Athens for art. Buy art in Athens. Sell it in Istanbul for carpet. Repeat. So we'll run this trade route for a few times here. We'll get some money and then we'll come back to Lisbon and then we will get our, oops, I sped that up. Sorry, fellas. Um, so I forgot I have the time warp key on here. I shouldn't have the time warp key on here. I don't need it. It actually works really well for this game, being honest, but. So I'll show you a little trick here. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I can't afford it, but. Oh, it's not open yet. So, what is it? Two to three? So, from two to three, the, um, from two to three, the item store sells secret goods. Okay, so let's head back. So, they open up, and for limited time only, we're selling some specialty items. Let's see what they got here. So, this is likely their specialty item. The most precise and reliable instrument used for the celestial navigation. It measures latitude and longitude. It's 12,000 gold. Well, I got 140. So, how about I just leave? We will go back and out the door a couple more times here. So, when the trader opens up, it should be open. Four. I'm gonna sell all these carpets. Let's buy some art now. Very fun. Supply up, we'll sail. Oops. 
also we'll just do this a couple times here. Or at least it's before midnight, so I don't feel so bad about just... Because the day ticks over anyway. Hopefully the next time we come here we'll be full of carpet, or we'll be able to fill up on carpet. We should have enough money from the next exchange. And we have plenty of food, so we have 12 days worth of food. It doesn't take. So we set out on June 18th in the day, comes tonight, it's the morning. We should get to Athens by the morning. It takes about a day and a half to get to Athens. I guess. Acknowledging it says three days there, that's not quite how I... Well, we'll see. Ooh, we have our first ingot. So let's try this auto navigation. I never use it much. But that's a good time to use the time warp. See? Do, 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 do. trick I just keep coming in and out coming in and out oh it's terrible I'm so sorry you guys I apologize so lame um we're ready to sell this dude some art though that's for sure load up on some carpet money on this in this one though we use the auto sailor again I'm not gonna speed it up
up. June 25th, we're about to have another ingot. take a midstream break here run this route a couple more times and then we will come back to Iberia and see what's happening we're almost at that other ingot though you know what I mean Other places starting to deflate though. I need to be more strategic strategic in my um, selling in Istanbul because this place is okay, but the other one is starting to deflate. That means I'm not gonna be able to sell the art for as much here. That other guy was sailing to to wherever too, huh? So let's get back to it. We are trading here. It's 1:30, so we don't have to nap or anything. We can just straight sell our art. 400, two ingots, baby. Two oh five, two oh five, two oh seven. So you can do seventy carpet, so that's basically a full load. I'm gonna load up some food. And that is awesome. Hopefully he says 10 days. Nope. He said 10 days, and we know we were sitting pretty. Since he said we don't know, we don't know exactly. Again, we can check. 12. When the next day clicks over, if we have 10, that means we get about and two food and water a day. That's about what we thought. That might be a pirate ship, to be honest, the one right there. Make money, money, make money, money, money. Boom. filled up on art so that's probably enough money off of this route I mean we could we can start cheesing it a little if we want yes uh, we're just gonna sail we'll see what's good in Istanbul and then we'll cheese it a little bit I think let's get back some wages get a little bit of food But, don't matter, we made it to Istanbul. So, 
Here we go, fellas. This is gonna be this is gonna be the master cheat here. Boom. We got big money now, so uh, let's hop around the market, see what is good in stable. Pardon me. I'm trying to see what kind of ships y'all got. <laughs> Looking for a used ship. Um, I'm in a Latina, I think. Does my ship need any repairs? Caravella Latina. Okay. So, Latin Caravelle. It's got a notice about the quarantine virus, and it's like, yeah, you could watch a press conference about it, or you watch me play Super Nintendo. What's the smart move? Come on. Nation Galatius. That's a whole. What you looking for? No, can't afford that. Brigantine. Six hundred, that's not bad. Ninety six hundred for the brigantine isn't bad. How much for the Latina? I mean that's that's pretty good. Okay. So let's see what we get. Actually, I'm going to kind of leapfrog a little bit here. It's going to depend on how things look in here. So let's see if we can do some recruiting. There's one guy here. I think he needs to hear a vagabond. So it's going to be a hard to get additional, um, it's going to be really hard actually to get additional mates at first, just because my character is so low in his, um, uh, just skills. You start with a very low, very weak kind of guy, right? So, um, what I'm going to do is... name this bad boy. We'll name it the Gofar. So let's go. So one, we've got to see how much dudes can get the sailing done over here. Looks like it, yeah. And 
a little bit slower. We should be able to get away with 15 bunks on it. Okay, so that's what we were trying to do there. Um, I gotta readjust my crew. So now let's go button out that crew. We've got ourselves a pretty good little trading ship now. Um, need to get a crew for it. You do that at the cafe. some trade goods and we'll get sail and we'll do one big carpet transaction here I think hopefully we can fill that bad boy up with carpet some money for some food now so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up the other ship so our first ship here we'll take a look at our fleet now so now we have our flagship is that front ship and that new ship we just purchased is behind it right so our flagship's a little bit more um you know nimble navigable it's more of a jack of all trade ship another one behind us is purely sort of a trade ship jack of all trades versus trade um, so we're gonna load this one full of food. We're gonna load the other one full of the cargo um, for the purposes of trading. And they kind of share it among the fleet, if you will. Here when that ship that when that front ship is full of food we have about 14 days worth of food for the fleet so we are gonna be pretty good there so now that we have this ship up and running we are going to sail a couple more times oh, we're a little bit slow maybe some more crew would help there I don't want to try to maximize profit or min maxing Domingo must be the captain of the other one. That makes sense. So first things first, we're actually going to go to the... Uh, let's work trade. Alright. Usually at the hour mark here, I like to use the bathroom or something like that. Let's get up. I want art. I'm an art trader. I am a fancy noble 
boy. So I want to sell the 110 and make money money and then we'll um, leave this area. We'll go back to whatever it is we're doing. But we want to run this route a couple times. Um, so I'm going to let this run for a second. I'm going to go use the restroom. I will be right back. trade so let's do all right so we'll probably play about another hour or so um hopefully we won't just spend the whole time trading here um but we are gonna make a fat bank off this one i think and we'll definitely be able to fill up the go far after this um, so i have no money saying it's a bargain so then we'll pay two end up paying 207 209 we can get 165 in the go far with nearly an ingot left over oh boy so we will uh, load up our ship here Carpets is the best beginner trade route. It's pretty safe. Uh, there is some exposure to pirates. I do believe that's a pirate here. Yes, 100% that's a pirate. So he is he's sniffing me out um, and he will attack me at some point. 
so I actually should make this my last one and then we'll head back over there Cause, just because I need to think about um, getting some crew members and stuff and we aren't making much progress with that out here so if I load up and sail all the way back to Lisbon on my own um, that'll be a good way to Gus Johnson there you are bud get him pretty early on. Gotta do that one more time. Let's run it back. Because have we had a full art core yet? I think we might have. Sit back and enjoy the cruise when you're doing the auto sail. Hope they don't have weird pit stains or anything like that. I don't know. It's an old shirt. Uh, I've been pretty grimy since the quarantine started. I don't know about you guys. Time to sell. So they're saying carpets would sell pretty good. I'm guessing that's probably true. for Venetian Galicias now, so...
So we have 50 trade experience. I don't know how we got that. So let's see if we get it from selling this big lot again. the stuff right there. Nope. Do we run it back? I mean, there's literally no downside to it. stacks left over. So we'll run it back and we'll get out of here by August. Don't even need to purchase goods there. All these ships. I think I'm causing this. Pirates, yep. I think I'm causing there to be a run so the rest of the AI fleets are trying to make money. Just stay back from the pirate a little. experienced some type of bug here. I know enough about playing the game to be able to do it even under these adverse conditions. But I don't like this one bit. Definitely a problem. Is it the car? It's gonna be the cartridge, not the renderer. So we'll see what happens out here. Yeah, okay. Well. A shoot. Um, let me try saving and resetting the ROM, see if that does it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna land real quick so I can save. something here. Let's try resetting. The ROM. Looking at Koei again. Big ups. I'm using a filter. I'm using a NTSC filter to simulate an RGB monitor. I really like it. Um, I use the RGB monitor uh, play um, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 games. Right now I'm playing Final Fantasy Origins. 
here we go. July 26, 1522. A new bugs. Off of we go. That was weird, though. I did not like that one bit. ship is just coasted on this route now because I think it like detects how much money is being made on a route by you and if you make too much money on one then the AI tries to get involved um, both like it's trying to undermine the prices here and so ton of carpet so much stupid carpet alright so I think the game bugging up there is like you made enough money on this route um, time to Time to hit the trail, so that seems reasonable. I'm just taking a quick peek to see if they have a ship maker here. They do not. There we are. Let's see what they got here. So the galleon and the now are the new ones for us. So the now size ship with a large cargo space. Easy to maneuver and suitable for adventurous voyages. And the galleon is, yeah. This so is looking for 32. I can get 26. About this guy. sell the ships I have now. I need to sell the hardies for now. I have like Cabot. I like it. Let me actually then transfer the ship and sell the other two ships. to sell the Hermes too. Sorry, Pops. Uh, we 
gonna we're gonna get the goods off of them first. Whoops. I saw the gopher as well, I think. It's, it made its money back. So now I have to reassign my crew, because I'm sure they got all janked up there, so... is a little high, so that's fine. Throw a little bit extra there. No guns. You. That's in fine shape. Okay. So we sold our secondary ship, but let's take a look at our new ship. Let's see how much more impressive that looks. Yeah, look at that. We've got a couple masts. Yeah, yeah. So we'll get into it. We'll take a look at it here. Um, it's a little more durable. Um, sails a little bit better. Um, I think. Let's take a look at the other one's stats a little bit more like that. But we should be able to store more stuff on here. You know what I mean? We should be able to. I'm trying to move to the next part of the game. So let's. If I sail now, we can sail for 10 days on how many supplies? On 38 and 38. So, oof. should try and make a tiny bit more money, right? Just a tiny bit more money. So, let's head on over. We've got our new ship here. Uh, let's buy some goods. Just a tiny bit more money, right? Get some art. No. How about 3.30? Okay, here's the one ship. It has a lot of space. I can buy 304 arts. Boom. Should have enough to pay my crew. Let's see if Gus wants to join one quick time here, if he's still in port. Come on, Gus. What you got? What you got? about to make a ton of money on a single transaction so you uh done goofed i will be back later to try and recruit you though for sure how do people stream all day long this is exhausting let's see supply kick to it. Are you ready to pay me 
save some money, Mr. Trader. filled up on carpet <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, trade that back at Athens we're gonna real quick see if there's anyone in the cafe that wants to be hired see if we can grab any sailors I think they change monthly so if there wasn't here and they also if people are here Gonna make a bunch of money. So this is a pretty good purchase. Okay, so. Sign our crew a little different and see if we can get. buy the other one for sure at this point. Twenty four for it. Camp it. How about the Is 
Then we have two ships uh, that are gonna be. Let's take a look at our fleet. I always like this one. So this is my favorite part of the game. Let's look at the fleet. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good there, doesn't it? Um, so we gotta get a crew. Let it ride. Good, made some money there. Okay. Posse in Tripoli. Alright, well, we'll sail for Tripoli then. All right, so we're all crewed up. We have two pretty nice ships. Let's load up some food. Probably not gonna do any trading. Let's just... Ooh, that's a lot of money. Just get art if I can help it.
allowed to speculate, so. Let's just go find Tripoli. Mediterranean tour here on the coast. See what's going on there. So we can search here. We discovered the ruins. Uh, nobody leveled up. That was weird. I need more people, though, after that happens. So let's check the trader. We'll take a look here. See what they got going on. Buy one. Buy goods. What's y'all's specialty? Cotton cloth or dye, maybe? Seems like it's a pretty good deal. Would have gone okay here, I guess. It seems like that cotton cloth is a pretty good deal.
Let's see if we can find some crew members. gonna sail let's load up and we'll sail back to Lisbon here since this stream is about to end we got some cotton we bought it at whatever we'll supply all I didn't get the crew members so that was what we came here for just sail along the northern coast of Africa. We have 29 days. We should have enough to see what we can find along the northern coast of Africa here. So we found some pyramids already. That's pretty cool. Throw up a little info panel. You can see the wind. Again, there was somebody in Tripoli looking for a job, and that's going to be along here, not too far up from where I'm at. So I'm in Libya now. Come on. So we'll stop. We'll see what we can find here. some bonuses there. That's pretty cool. Head right to the sh this cafe. We know somebody's looking for a job. Here. No, they gone. They flipping gone. So sometimes they're in the inn, but that probably just means that was last month or it was some bad intel or something. Again, I think they move month. going against the current, against our ship. Sail around this island, see if we can see anything. Corsica or Sardinia? Hmm. Alright, we'll 
we'll just sail this way for a while. Expecting some level ups there. So we'll go turn in our quest. We might look calling it here. It's almost 3 o'clock. It's a two hour video, two hour stream. Boom. Boom money. I don't even remember what $700. I'm not going to be able to get any of these guys out, so... I mean, it is a challenge. So, maybe we will stop in here, see what we can do. No permit. These are the Duke's orders. Maybe I'll go see what the king of Portugal wants, huh? What? You can go see the king. Oh, no. I guess we're going to Seville. What to do with all this carpet? So let's go to Seville and we'll see what's going on there. That'll probably be a good place to end up for today. So we made some money. We have a nice little fleet going on. Uh, we haven't really been able to recruit any sailors, um, but that's okay. Nor have we gotten any closer to uncovering uh, the mysteries of 
Atlantis, but again, you got it. Durable ships, they got a little little zip to them. See how fast that's going? So we'll maybe play around in Seville here, see what is going on. Maybe the King of Spain will let me hit. <laughs> um The Japanese War of the Spark box break going on over at the Paradox page. So maybe I'll go check that out here too, so. See if we can get any sailors here. Oh, I should have. need to start checking the inn, too. There we go. These guys are free. You want to get on board? One more. Didn't get anyone. Okay. So let's try over here. Domingo Manana. necessarily want to buy anything there. Um, what are we going to look at? We're going to look at a ship. See if they have any cool ships here. Um, I know you can build some decent ones. I think there are some good ones for purchase here too. In, this is the capital for Spain. So. Eh, I take that back. The now is going to be the biggest of those. You can probably build one though, right? You build up to a galleon. So how much would a galleon cost us? Sure. Kind of hard. The cheapest galleon would cost us 46. So like 4 ingots and 6,000. That's not so bad. We can get a galleon built for us right now. But no, I don't think so. That doesn't seem like the best use of our money. deliver the letter. Let's deliver the letter. Maybe talk to... That's the wrong spot. Come on, man. Alright, we'll deliver the letter. We'll call it good. But we will go ahead and uh, save the game. for watching uh, our first corn stream i uh, hope to do a couple more of these here maybe we'll get to some more interesting stuff with Xiao. uh my name is eric fargo retro here i want you all to take care and wash your hands don't cough on anybody okay now take care everybody